In this video, we will learn about how to create spring and how to animate spring compression. First, we open the Autodesk Inventor 2020. So this is this is red cashier. This is the spring. We will create the spring for the star, and we will assemble the part and create the animation of the compression spring. We start with the new assembly document, standard millimeter.aam. We place the component part number 3, 5, 6, 7, 8. Open. Okay. Press escape and we will assemble the component. We choose this part as the grounded part and then we set this view as the home view. Then we use the post train. Net, center to center, fly, flush, and then center to center again. Okay, fly, and then flush again. Fly. Okay, next, the next part is the net. Constraint, center to center, flip, fly, okay. and then we put the rubber, okay. and we, then we put the rubber by constraint mid center to center and then uh, we hide this part right click visibility we put the plus constraint again plus line we unhide this part with right click and visibility Okay. Let's constrain again. This and this. This is the length of the spring. We set uh, fifty six fly. Yes. Okay. Then we need the two more components, part 3 and part 5. Then we choose the part, we copy and paste over here. And then we set the constraint again. 
1 and 2 line and then we set the flash constraint line cancel okay now let's uh, start create the spring we just create new component uh, first we choose the plane at the part 3 yz plane create new choose the metric with standard method the IPT then ok ok first we create the circle we need to create the scale on this plane so we have to create the plane first use the yz plane visibility and we measure from this to this is 57.5 use the plane choose the a yz plane drag 57.5 visibility and then we create scale on the plane make a circle with the 23 di diameter finish sketch and we put the extrusion by 56 okay <laughs> next we use the XZ plane to create the profile of the coil create the profile of coil use slice and project cut 8 choose this cut 8 and we made it a construction line we put the dimension attack okay we will use this dimension later now we create the circle the diameter of the spring to 3 mm and then coincident constraint this to slide the dimension center to the center coordinate is by nine uh, eleven okay uh nine six ten nine it's nine point five okay then click finish sketch and then choose coin choose the axis is x axis and then the coil size choose type revolution and height choose the height the dimension don't put the number but it's a parameter d4 dimension 4 revolution is 6 revolution and five or six revolution and the start end is flat with 90 degree transition angle okay and don't forget choose the intersect okay the spring is already built we define the material um, we choose the we choose um, 
Cooper Alloy and then click return now we're ready to uh, animate then we choose the constraint oh, we have to set this spring first sender to sender apply and then the space to this space net constraint apply and the last one is to this space line that's it so spring uh, already locked with the constraint and then we ready to animate the spring We rename drive, right click, drive, from 5.6 to 6.6, 76 degree, and don't forget to check the drive adaptivity. And then we choose the repetition by two, and then we play. Oh, sorry. Uh, there is one more thing. We create this part as adaptive part. Right click on the extrusion, choose the adaptive. Then we try drive again. Drive adaptivity is already checked, and now it works. Okay. And then we can continue with the image rendering and the animation rendering. So that's it. Thanks for your attention.